how is it doing on the is so in this video we'll discuss about this problem flatten a multi level doubly linked list so let us directly move to the example now so over here we will be given a multi level linked list so if you see the node consists of one additional pointer so instead of only next and previous we also have one additional pointer child which is making it a multi level linked list so we have to convert this multi level linked list into the flattened linked list so let us see the order of order in which we will visit the nodes so if you see we have one then we have two then we have three so what as here as well we have one two three so since three has a child node we will process all these nodes four five and six after we process all these nodes so we'll next move to seven so we'll process seven then we'll process eight so you we have seven and eight over here and since eight has a child so we'll process these nodes before these nodes so we'll process 11 and 12 so if you see from 8 we will process 11 and 12 and then we'll process 9 and 10 so if you can see 9 and 10 and then finally we'll, we'll process 4 5 6 so we have 4 5 6 so this is the order in which we have to traverse the nodes so now let us see how we can solve this problem so over here what we are going to do is we are having this input and we have to convert this input into this output so we are going to maintain a pointer over here so our pointer will be initially over here and we will check whether the current node has a child node or not so since it doesn't have a child node we will simply move it to the next node we will again check whether the current node has a child node or not since it doesn't have a child node we will simply move to the next node now over here our current node has a child node so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put all this thing that is the current dot not current node dot next in the stack so let me just create a stack over here and in this stack i'll put four five and six so now what, what we are going to do is let me just uh, remove this thing as well now what we are going to do is we are going to put the current node style to its next since we know that the child is going to get processed before the next node so we are going to put all this thing that is this entire thing into the next of the current node so we will have seven over here then eight over here then nine over here then ten over here and we will have 11 and 12 over here and we'll put the current child to be null so we'll just remove this thing as well now uh, we'll move to the next node we will check where this node has a child node or not since it doesn't have a child node we will move to the next node now over here we can see that this node has a child node so what we're going to do is first we are going to put this next part into the stack so we'll put this 9 10 into the stack and let me just remove that as well from here and what we are going to do over here is we are going to put the child to the next because we have to process the child before the next so we will put 11 and 12 over here and we'll put the current child to be null so let me just remove that thing as well and then we'll move to the next node so we will check over here again whether this node has a child node or not it doesn't so we will move over here so again this node doesn't have a child node so over here we will check one more thing so when the current node next is null so it means it means that we have reached the end so we have to put these nodes now after this so what we will do is we will simply pop from the stack so this is the stack so we will pop the from, pop from the stack so we will pop this thing and we will put after this thing so let me just put this thing so we will have 9 over here and 10 over here so uh, let me just remove this thing as well from the stack so we will remove this thing since we have popped this thing and now we will move to the next node so over here we will again check for the child so it doesn't have a child we will again move to the next node so it doesn't have a child now the next is null so we will check in the stack whether there is something in the stack so we have this entry so we will bring this entry into the next of the current node so let me just do that thing as well so we will bring 4 5 and 6 over here and we will simply remove this entry from the stack so the stack becomes empty after this now after that we will move to the next node we will check whether this is a child or not again we will move to the next node it doesn't have a child we will move to the next node it doesn't have a child the next is null and the stack is also empty so we will move to the next node and finally the traversal is done and if you see this is nothing but the output list so that's how we are going to flatten this thing so now let me just write the code for this thing and then things will be clear so first what, we, what i'm going to do is i'm going to maintain a temp head 
because we are going to move the head so now we'll check while head is not equals to null over here you will check in case head dot child not equals to null so this is the first condition that we are checking whether the current child is not null so if it is not null so what i have to do is i have to first check i have to first put the next of the current node into the stack so let me just create a stack as well so we will have a stack of node let us name it as stk equals new stack and since so over here we will check if head dot next not equals to null we can simply say stk dot push head dot next now after this thing what we have to do is uh, we have to bring the current child to the to the current nodes next so we'll say head dot next equals head dot child and since it's a w link list we have to say head dot next dot previous to point to the current head and we'll put the current child to be null head dot child equals null correct now in case head dot child is not null so we'll check this thing so else if that is uh, head dot child is uh, null and in case we have head dot next equal equal null that is we are at the end of the list so we have to put we have to take the elements from the stack and we have to insert them into our list so we will check over here and the stack is not empty so what we are going to do is we are going to put head dot next equals stack dot pop and since it's a w link list we have to create head dot next dot previous to point to the current head and this is done i guess and we will simply say head is equals to head dot next so that our head pointer keeps on moving so after this is done we will simply return the temporary head which we have saved in temp correct so let me just run this code once so all right let me just put this thing so let me just run it again so this looks correct let me submit a solution and it got accepted so i guess that's it from this video in case you have learned anything on the video you can hit that like button and in order to support my work you may consider subscribing to my channel thank you all